10 o'clock, we begin with breaking news. Arrests have been made in the death of Ahmad Arbery, the African-American man shot and killed by two armed white men while jogging through a South Georgia neighborhood. 11 Alive's Natisha Lance is live. She has the very latest update for us. Well, Jeff, around 8 o'clock, we learned that GBI arrested father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael for the death of Ahmad Arbery. Both men have been charged with murder and aggravated assault. Now, this comes after two prosecutors recuse themselves from the case for a conflict of interest. Gregory McMichael previously worked as an investigator with the Glen County DA's office, and a third prosecutor planned to have a grand jury hear the case. The two were seen in this video confronting Arbery as he was jogging through a Brunswick neighborhood in a 911 call that we just received today, they told police they believed he was a burglary suspect. A scuffle broke out between the men and Arbery was shot and killed. Now, we're going to show you video of the McMichael's arrest today. It's taken 10 weeks to get to this point, but let me take you through the timeline. So the deadly shooting happened back on February 23rd. No charges were filed. The video was released to the public on Tuesday, and that's the same day GBI was requested to work on this case. GBI then launched its investigation just yesterday and tonight the two arrest. Now this comes after Governor Kemp put his confidence in the agency to find out the truth today. I have no doubt in my mind that it will be fair and that Director Reynolds and this seasoned team that he has of investigators will work very quickly, but they will also be very thorough and they will go wherever the truth takes them. And just before we went to air, I spoke to an attorney for the uh, Arbery family, and he says the family is happy about this, but still devastated because this is just the first start in a very long battle. A protest and rally is scheduled to be in Brunswick tomorrow at the uh, courthouse. They say that will still go on because this is a, what the first step of many, and also they are calling for the resignation of the first DA in this case who they believe made some missteps. Jeff, Aisha. Thank you, Natisha.